Kubrick coming at you. Before you um, proceed to watch the skit, I just want to say that I am in no way saying that treatment is not necessary, nor is it important. Treatment has helped me tremendously in my recovery, and without treatment I wouldn't be alive today, quite frankly. However, I believe it is important to look at the cons of going to treatment. And one of the cons being that so many healthcare professionals will lie to your face when you ask them the question, am I gaining weight? And they will flat out lie to you and say no. I believe this is immorally, this is immoral and incorrect on many levels because as an adult, you should get to know what the heck is happening with your body based on the meal plan they provide and the little movement you are doing. The, they say things like it's all in your head and the issue with that is that you start second guessing everything. Maybe you have a zit on your face and you're like, is it really there? Is it all in my head? You see what I mean? So I just personally don't agree with the approach. I understand why they don't want you to see the number, but I just want to reiterate, I think it is very important to know the number at some point because the whole goal of recovery is to be able to look at the number on the scale and not hate it, not want to alter it, and accept your body as it is. So I wish I was exaggerating. I am a bit in this skit as I do all of my skits, but a lot of these things come from a genuine, genuine conversations I've had. So as much as this skit is exaggerated, oh gosh, it is so accurate. Well, without further ado, I hope you enjoy, and if you've ever gone to treatment, I bet you any money that you'll relate to some of these points in the video. All right, thank you and enjoy. Rise and shine, it's time to wake up. Ugh. What? This is the first time I've slept in literal days. What do you want? Sorry for waking you up there. It's 6.01 in the a.m. and it is a Wednesday, which means it is weight day. <laughs> we expect to see you at 6.05. Get into your gown and let's do this thing, shall we? Ugh, you woke me up for that? Out of all things, I already hate my weight. I know I'm gaining weight, but you people keep telling me I'm not gaining weight and it's all in my head, but I know for a fact it's true. I have a belly now. I can't take, ugh, why'd you wake me up? I slept at freaking midnight last night, and the next thing you know, all of a sudden, you people just have to wake me up at 6 in the gosh darn morning. I'm so... <sighs> I can't wait till I discharge. I'm so sick and tired of this place. Alright, time to get stupid weighed. Ugh. You know what? I'm going in this. It doesn't matter. I don't even know where the hell my nightgown is. I know this room's only 5 foot by 5 foot tall, but like... I can't find shit in here because all of the gowns rip because of my body is becoming too big for them. <sighs> All right, well, off to the races we go, I guess. All right, we'll be there in a moment with the scale. Greek! Opens door sounds. Hey, Abigail, I heard that you gave some attitude to our um, one of our recovery coaches, Jordy, and I just want you to know that is not tolerated here. I understand that being woken up is triggering for you, but that's something you should bring into your individual therapy appointment with Kai. So, but anyways, I know this is your favorite time of the day. I've had six cups of coffees, and I know you're not allowed to have a single ounce of caffeine except for on Sundays, yes, Sundays, but sometimes we forget about those events because we don't really care. All right, so whenever you're ready, go step on the scale, go step on it backwards so you don't know your weight because we're trying to avoid these things, of course, because they are very triggering and the weight on the scale doesn't matter, so. All right, whenever you're ready, step on back. Now I can talk however the heck I want because in my intake assessment, you guys told me I'd only be here for six weeks. And like I said earlier, it's month two and a half and I still don't know my dang weight. And you say the number on the scale doesn't matter. But then every time I bring up the possibility I've gained weight, you tell me that it's just my disorder talking. 
oh, I'm sorry that my jeans don't fit me the same way anymore. Wow, you people, like, do you really think that I'm that dumb? I can look in the mirror and physically see that I've gained weight, but whatever, I'll step on the stupid scale backwards. And then when I get home, the first thing I'm gonna do is run to a scale and then have a mental breakdown because the number is way harder, way higher than anything I perceived in my head. All right. All right, I'm gonna step on it. Beep, 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 beep. All right, it looks like you're all done, Abigail. I hope you have a great morning. Breakfast is at 7.30. Is this for real? I'm a freaking adult and you're just not gonna tell me my weight even though I want to? I feel like that's a problem. It's like if you go to the doctors and you say, yo, what's my blood pressure? And in response they go, oh, it's not bad even when it's bad. It's my health. I should be able to know my own statistics, but I guess I can't. Whatever, I know breakfast is at freaking 7.30 because it's at 7.30 every gosh darn morning and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of these cold eggs on an English muffin with spinach and occasionally some mixed nuts on the side. Who the heck eats that? And for the longest time, I didn't know you were supposed to combine all these things together. So I was just eating plain spinach and no one told me it better. So again, I don't understand you people. You have helped me a lot but please, please just treat me like an adult. Treat all of us like adults because that's what we are. We're in an adult facility. We're not, it's, we're not on the playground anymore having eating disorders. We're in the game called life now where a lot of people have lost their jobs just to be here, just to step on that scale and for you to say that it did not budge even though we know it budged. So just think about that next time. That's all I'm gonna say. See you at breakfast.